In this tutorial, I will show you step by step how you can add a whitelist function on Binance. Once activated, you can only withdraw funds to wallet addresses, which are added in your whitelist section. If you try to withdraw funds to wallet addresses, which are not added in your whitelist, Binance will not let you withdraw funds to that. This is a great feature to avoid sending funds to wrong addresses. To get started, hover over your profile icon in the top right corner and then click on settings at the bottom. In the settings section, scroll down until you see the withdraw option right here. And then the first section is withdraw whitelist. On the right hand side, you can see for me it's currently turned off. Click on enable, confirm this, and then you must put in your two-factor authentication, such as email verification and authenticator app. I will do this right now. After putting in your 2FA, you can see your whitelist is now enabled. Now you must click on address management in order to add wallets to your whitelist. Now you can see I already added some wallets here, but if you don't have any wallets yet, you can click on add on the right hand side. You can add one address or multiple at once. In my case, I want to add one address. I want to add my USDT TLC20 address from Bybit. Click on add address and then I label it. In this case, I call it Bybit USDT TLC20. The coin is gonna be USDT. The network is TLC20. And then I have to put in the wallet address. Now I will go over to Bybit to get my USDT TLC20 wallet address. On Bybit, you can see I have selected USDT, TLC20 as the network, and then down here I have my wallet address. I copy this and now I provide this exact address over on the Binance withdraw whitelist. Now I pasted the address right here. In my case, this is not a universal address. This is really just for USDT TLC20. But for other coins such as Ethereum, you might have the same address across different chains such as Ethereum, Arbitrum and other layer 2s on Ethereum. In my case it is only one so I can't use this option. And then at the very bottom you can add it to the whitelist. Click on this, click on save and then put in your two-factor authentication again. Now I have successfully added a whitelist address on Binance. If you want to delete an address from your whitelist you can do this on the right hand side with these three dots. Then you can either remove them from your whitelist or delete them completely. If you want to turn off the whitelist function, go back to your profile on the top right corner and then click on settings. Go back down until you see the withdraw section. On the right hand side, you can click on disable. Confirm this, put in your two-factor authentication. Now we have successfully activated, added and deleted the whitelist function. If you want to get started with trading on Binance, I recommend you create a new account with the link below this video, because with that link you will get an exclusive 10% trading fee discount, which will save you a lot of money, so I highly recommend you take advantage of this. If you're looking for great alternative exchanges such as Bybit or more, check out the links in the video description. We have tons of guides, tutorials and reviews for crypto exchanges on our YouTube channel and on our official website.